that's me. And you're probably wondering why me and my sister are different breeds, or animals, I should say. Well, my father's a, d a cat and my mother's a dog. She's out on a business trip and she she's the one that cared about me most. Lately, things have been rough and my sister always calls me fat. I don't even know what to do anymore. Honey, or both of you. <laughs> Wake up, you two. What is it now, Dad? You have school today. Don't forget already. Since our funding has been going lower, since your mother is on the business trip and hasn't been paid yet, I don't really have that much to feed you guys. Flora, wake up. Oh, sorry, Dad. Dad. I was just making sure I get enough sleep so I can get some good math grades. Oh, that's perfectly fine, then. I'm sorry I could only get one gingerbread man for you. You can either share or... If one of you aren't hungry, then you don't have to have it. Anyways, I'll be downstairs getting your uh, bags ready and stuff. So, yeah, eat up and get ready for school, please. Um, I'm not hungry. And plus, I'm not the type to be eating gingerbread men. And plus, this is not Christmas. I don't know what he was thinking. Also, it's fatty food. <laughs> you can have it. It it suits you. Fatty food, you are fat, you know. Um, I'll pass. No, no. Go ahead. Eat it. I honestly don't care about your health. How do I look? Oh wait, you couldn't tell me. You're practically blind to your surroundings and don't know a thing about fashion. So, uh, I think I'll stick to a mirror. Thanks. I hate her so much. I can't resist anymore. I'm such a fatty. Uh, maybe they won't notice. Uh... Hey, girl! Hey, love your outfit. Yeah, yours is cool too. It totally goes with your fur. Aw, thank you. Um, hi. Uh, hey sis, I kind of wanted to get to my locker, you know, since we have the same last name and we're next to each other. Um, no thanks. You don't deserve to get your, your locker. Now scram. I want you to get bad grades on your test. OMD, we had a test today? What am I gonna do? OMD, what is wrong with her? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's kind of scary. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, like, let's get out of here. Ew. Ugh. Oh, dog. I'm gonna be late. Late. I'm such a terrible person. Hello, Kayla. Nice to see that you finally joined us. I bet it was that big be breakfast she ate this morning that slowed her down. OMD, what did she eat? She ate two whole chocolate cakes. OMD! <laughs> oh my dog, what a fatty. Girls, 
quiet. And Kayla, go find a spot. Uh, okay. Kayla, is what they said true? No, I would not eat that much. But I did have something. Maybe they're right. I can't resist it anymore. Oh, dog. I'm such a fatty. No, no, Kayla, it's okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... You know what? Let's talk after PE. We shouldn't be talking in class. Alright, class. As you all know, today we're going to be taking a test. And don't worry, it's a paper pencil test. Not the fitness gram pacer test. I know you all hate that. All we're going to be doing today is taking a test on agility and how, based off of how agile you are through our games and activities that we do during class. So now I'm going to pass out your papers and make sure that you all have one. Is that clear? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, mister! Alright, you will have 15 minutes to finish this test since it's just PE and it's not that hard. Remember, talk after class. Alright, now that I've gotten your papers, I'm going to have you spread out so you don't copy off of each other, which you shouldn't because you're not in third grade. Now, now spread out as I said. Oh, dog. I'll, I'll just stay here. <sighs> See ya. Bye. Alright, all of you may begin your test. Where is she? Hey, you said you wanted to talk? Yeah, actually, I wanted to talk about something that happened during class. Hey! Charlie, I need to tell you something. Uh, yeah, what's up? Well, you know, Courtney wanted to talk to you since, yeah, you're, like, her boyfriend and stuff. Uh, she wants to talk in the locker room, which this is the locker room, so here she comes. I'll leave you guys in. I think you should, too. Uh, Ari, is it? It's Kayla. Alright, Kari. Yeah, I'll, I won't forget it next time. It's Kayla. Here, let me see what Courtney wants. Alright. I'll see you in a minute. Hey. Hey, Courtney. Look, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah, me too. Um, but ladies first, you know. Uh, yeah. So, what did I wanted to tell you? Hey, look at me. Sorry, I just, uh, thinking about something. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you something about Kayla. What? She seems so nice. What could she done? Oh, it's not what she did. It's what... How she acts. Now, I wouldn't call her mean or anything, but, you know, she's a little on the fat side, if you know what I mean. What? I actually don't know what you mean. She's not fat at all. Oh, what? What do you call eating two cakes in one morning, then? Because that's exactly what she ate for breakfast today. Two full Luscious chocolate cakes. Now I know that's a complete lie. I mean, you already made her suffer enough. You know what? We're done. You are just an inconsiderate little dachshund. Why, well, yes, I am a dachshund. <laughs> At least you didn't call me anything else. 
Wait. What? Done? What? No, babe. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. I'm sorry, but... I just can't handle it anymore, Courtney. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say those things about her. I mean, I lied, okay? I, I admit it. But I want to stay with you. Well, it's too late for that. I'm sorry. No! Charlie, no! <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. I wanted to talk about what Courtney said. Oh, and by the way, I broke up with Courtney. What? Why? You guys seem so happy together. Well, after hearing the things she said about you, I just... I felt so bad. You're just a poor girl. She has no right to be calling you these terrible things. At that, behind your back even. She knew that I was starting to realize how she really was, so... She started to try to lie about you and say that you were fat and ate two cakes a day. What? That's a complete lie. I didn't think she was that harsh. Well, apparently she is. I just want to say sorry for how hard she's been on you. I I'm just so sorry. Do you want to be friends? Yeah, of course. And I understand if you don't want to take things any further, since we kind of just met and I didn't really notice you before. Maybe sometimes in the future? It's depends on what our future holds. Yeah. <laughs> depends. <laughs> You're weird. Hey! Oh, well, there goes the bell. We better get ready for class. What do you have? English. Oh, darn. I have math. Well, I'll see you in, uh, well, break period, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> huh. We'll see you. Oh, well, math is right here, so, uh, bye. You know what? I'm walking you to class. What? No, you'll be late. I don't care. As long as I can keep an eye on you. I don't want you getting bullied again. Oh, fine. Come on. Let's go. Oh, right behind you. You're practically... Br practically? <laughs> what? So, uh, I think I'll stick in... Stick in. So, uh, I'll f I think I'll stink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are just going to be taking a test about agility and how agile you are based on how you've been mo So now I'm going to test. Test. Alright, you all might. Sorry doesn't cut it. I'm sorry, but... Oh, okay. Depends on how it holds.